They can just turn the T side. Let's see what they can do here. Mal's might be kicking themselves for letting Ancient slip away the way it did. Oh man, oh man, I I mean, I was all set to say complexity, you've given away your your 2-0 start. You're gonna be two and two after today. I know. I was halfway into that thought again on Ancient. Now they could actually salvage this. And man, oh man, what a incredible situation that would be. Chickens! There are chickens on this map, Maui Snake. One in the bomb site. One on balcony. To be fair, that prop hunt was like this series. I don't know who was trying to lose harder. Yeah, that's true. Good point. Hulls pop. Here we go. Flashbang comes out. A little bit late to blind Hulls or Quake. Doesn't matter. They both get deleted. That's the bomb site overrun. And I don't... Ooh, that's a good kill from Grim. In alt mid, Dexter goes down. There's still a small chance this can come to be. They need Frozen. They need him fast. And they've got it. Now the retake is on. I admire the effort to wall bang with the Glock. There's but a kid on JT. Not the best. You're absolutely right. There is. Trying to do damage onto him though. Torzi's put him down that kit. Okay. They spotted that on the ground as well, so they know that that's far from the site. They can just sit back a bit further. Hope there's not another exertion. It's got Floppy Pet alone. And alone he shall shine as he takes down Grim. And it's now one to nothing for Mouse Sports. Yeah, that, that, that at least Mouse. got themselves. Yeah. Mouse. We play esports. We play esports. Mouse. Mouse. Mouse esports. Nice shot, but this is the kit going down. And when this happens, the round is pretty much over. Exertion has a couple nice kills at the end of the day, but really not much complexity could have done without that kit on the other side of the map. One nothing, no investment whatsoever from complexity. They do have a singular flashbang on Grim. He's hoping to hear some banana presents up at car. Molotovs to clear off some angles on the way up banana as well. They've got sandbags covered. They've got the barrels covered, but they don't have a Here three we go. push coming with this flash. Frozen, he's too close to the wall and they're gonna fall. It's frozen with two. Dexter with one as well, and he's not done there because he's got the Mac 10 frozen. Quick little reload, and then they'll get back to it because the smoke goes down towards CT Grim. Are you gonna try and just hide? He might. He could just say, hey, we already showed that there's three, but they know there's a flash, right? Someone's gotta be keeping track of that. Someone's gotta say, hey, who threw the flash if we killed all three that quickly? And Dexter does realize that Grim has gone down. Mom to be planted by Torzi in the back of the fountain. Bomb has been planted. I think that would be, if I could choose, I would be a fish in that fountain for the prop hunt. Okay. Hulls are going to save the uh, USP, no armor, no nades. It's a good save call. Good looking USP as well. No exit kills, not interested, but also probably considering that he doesn't want to give away money to SMGs. Yeah, that too. We'll see, they might actually end up finding him. Getting closer. This is a prop hunt. Find the mullet. <laughs> the mullet and the mustache. Yeah, one down. That sounds like a sick like play. The mullet and the mustache. Yeah. Okay. That could be the name of a musical. It feels like it, it feels like it should be like a like a, a novel of some kind. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think like um. Yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll reach out to Andrew Lloyd Webber see if he wants to write us a soundtrack for that one. What did he do? What's his What's his body? What? Of like literally like cats. Uh, okay, wait, every stop. Big Broadway. If, that's, if that's the first musical you're going to bring up, I, I can't have respect for the decision. Right out of the gates, Cats is just... You name any musical on Broadway, Andrew Lloyd Webber's probably been a part of it. Okay. Yeah. Cats is friggin' sweet, man. Magical it's Mr. Pistopheles, okay? It's not. Rum Tum Tugger. It's, it's terrible. Whatever. Banana Control is a stalemate. Nobody wants to challenge a whole lot. Complexity running out of Nate, still early on in the CT side with this third round by. And Mouse is going to follow up. They do have the MAC-10 on Dexter. You might imagine he'd want to lead the way in a B-hit. JDC lurking on the other side of the map in Boiler. JT, trying to get some shots in with Floppy, who's up above. He'll get one drop down. Doesn't want to give himself away or stay in position to be Ooh. sprayed through the smoke. Speaking of through the smoke, that is a huge advantage. For exertion, he's aware that someone could be coming through CT, but he'll turn back his attention. Crosshair placement's perfect. He doesn't know that yet. But JT on the other side of it. What's the call? Four on four on the retake. There's no, no kit. kit. Yeah. yeah. They need a JT needs to get him a kill if they want to actually go for this. Torji's in a really strong spot, though. Good headshot through the edge of the wall. JT didn't see it for a second. I think this retake, they're kind of committed at this point. It's certainly gone now. Torji running out of ammunition. Doesn't matter. Tapping away. He had four. That was for the ace. He couldn't grab it at the end of the day, but complexity's defense deleted. 
Look at JDC. Now he's going to backstab. Now he's going to make sure that M4 cannot survive to the next round. JDC is certainly on it. Get the M4, an upgrade on his Galilia tanked up. Thankfully, it was an M4. Yeah. And he'll get that, and it goes 3 0. 3 0. Just a standard B hit, march up banana, and get into it. little shadow crap showing this was nasty just holding his nerve three bullets left three taps and third time's the charm upgraded pistols for complexity on a few players Halzerk's going to save as much as possible for the off in the next rounds but Mao's in the driver's seat the shot with the AK. He'll hold from the tree. JT gonna give himself up on that one. Lumberjack at the logs. Chopping him down. Nice flannel colors. Oh, so Canadian. I w I'm so disappointed with this hotel, by the way. It can be five star all at once, but it gets a one from me. When you go to breakfast, ask for a pancake, and you say, hey, do you have any syrup? And they go, no. Not even the fake stuff, let alone maple syrup. Okay. Might have to get some sent to me from home. Gee, I'm surprised you don't just travel with a bottle. I, you know, I would, but, uh, that, okay, that's foolish. Forget maple syrup, Fang's got blood and maple syrup going on right now for Canada because he just got a sick lineup. Like, sprays of the first of five, seven, second one walks in and gifts it to him. That gives the man advantage to complexity, and it's also gonna discourage Malice from any further action at A. They go over toward OB, Floppy. Luckily, he has a smoke this time. He extinguishes it, he's got his back turned. Holzer took the attention, but the nade from Frozen puts Floppy down. It's still a two on two. That's huge. That's huge to get that kill, because now, ooh, behind the fountain, they could actually pin JDC down. Here's the swing. He sees one. Disappears inside the smoke. An escape route provided by the utility. Almost peaks it perfectly. No utility on Grim and Fang. They can't flush anyone out into the open. And no kit. This has got to be fast. Those AKs, though, armor to go with it. But you're right. No kit. Frozen's holding toward the chapel. And JDC's able to swing in that direction. So even if they want to go for the trade, it's a lineup. First one success. That should be the round. JDC's going to get fanged. They needed the first kill on entry. And it's four now for Mouse Sports, but very close in the end. That's a that double nade is so massive to clear Floppy out of that position because otherwise, if they're if they have to have their backs turned to the to the CT spawn choke point, those AKs are going to do work while they're focused on taking Floppy down. What the? How did that work? For nothing. Off in the hands of Halzerk. Off in the hands of Torji as well on the T side. Quick off shot above the smoke, not gonna, oh wait, I said not gonna land. I think he tagged JT with that, put him down to 21. Sure JT, did. Yeah, JT's gotta be a little more passive on this one now. So Floppy goes forward instead, flash thrown his direction. That's from Frozen. And desperate sprays from Floppy, but not gonna land. Molotov forces, are we rewinding? Oh, Frozen, oh, there we go. oh that's an off angle. That's actually pretty huge. Watch this. What in down in floppy walks out straight up, gets the kill. And Frozen's not done there. He's gonna try and step out and get JT, who falls back into the site. Now the charge is on. The cavalry marching toward Fang, who's stuck in the corner, and they know he's there. He's making tons of noise, <laughs> tries to go for the kill, can't do it. JDC is gonna add one to Grim on the offsite, and Mao's looking for a fifth round. Something about Mao's being able to just open up and start halves very, very strong, very powerfully. They're up five nothing again. They've got money building up. Five players surviving at the moment. Holzer, with the AWP, relatively committed here to construction. How are you supposed to get away? Holzer still holding it out. Dexter and JDC are in the A bomb set as well. So, I mean, this is going to just, it's going to close on Holzer. I can't see a world in which he survives. Dexter is going to push back through spawn. Holzer just holding it out. You're right. I don't think there's any way. Is this the config-esque? It might be. He's saying, like, if I get as close enough as possible to this bomb, they might not check here. But, I mean, everyones they've checked oh, no. everything. Now they know no one's really that close to prevent it, although JDC's coming in hot, coming in a little bit late. Paul Zerk, bomb goes up, down to 36 HP, and JDC's got him at the end of the day. 5-0. God, I bet Complexity, someone on the Complexity organization is probably just sitting around like, man, I wish we could start a half in the lead. For the love of God. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool, but you know what? It's worked out for them in the last map, so uh, we'll see how this one 
pens in the end. Uh, you have to say you do to get, you know, a passport in Canada, so. That makes sense. Probably lied about it. A couple of smokes to, left in uh, Orange 2. They usually drop them back by the chapel, but they're going to put them a little bit closer inside of the site this time for a solo Torzi, who's uh, going to have a ton of nades to throw there for. Passive from both teams on the map. Mal's looking to see if there's going to be anything creative out of the low buy from Complexity. And the defense is content to just drop smokes and delay as long as possible and play for the later stages of this round. Seven kills on Torji and Frozen to lead the way for Mal's. Nine kills total for the entire complexity defense. Yeah, again, they're averaging under two kills around to start off. Yeah, the, the starts half. have just been so slow for complexity, or fast for Malz, whatever, yeah. whichever one you want to go for, they go to work. Yeah, sure. Last time it was 13 kills after seven rounds, so they were averaging yeah. less than two around, which is pretty pretty shocking. Ooh, Flopster's got a gap. He, I, I thought he was going to get spotted by Frozen in that. They still spam into it. Didn't really get the timing right in that smoke, did he? And he's the only one at this site. There is someone at CT, but that's too far away for Fang. Although he's gonna try with that 5-7 again, why not? It worked out for him last time. He's tagged JDC, but they're inside of the site, and I think Bomb to be planted. Nine seconds, though. They're desperate, and that's what they're spamming for, because they know that Bomb has to go down shortly. Now Dexter's got the lanes opening up in his favor as they'll go to work on the remaining two players. Now JT and Halzer. That was a bit dicey. I'm not gonna lie. I was. I, I didn't realize. I didn't catch the time being so low in the round. That actually got uh, way closer than Mouse probably would have liked, even with some clean entrances into the bomb site. Good flash. Good double kill. Or yeah. Dexter and exertion, with a kill and an assist each. Six nothing for Mouse on this T side. Now for complexity, you start shifting into that kind of damage control, right? Like this is already a good number of rounds for Mouse, and if you're complexity, you're just trying to make sure that this doesn't get completely away from you the way things did on Overpass. Overpass feels like it was so long ago. Ooh, looks like a bug. <laughs> does look a bit like a bug, doesn't it? Yeah. I wonder if that's how I look like if I get really close to you, Jason. Just stay still for a minute. Oh, sure. You do look like a gross little fly. Ah, oh, yes. More of a mosquito, really. <laughs> Even worse. JDC backs off, uh, having already gotten the position in Boiler. I thought he was going to go down and try and peek out of the doorway, but he'll just hold the position because it's forward enough to get sound cues. I'd be surprised if Malice doesn't just go back and keep hitting this B bomb site. I mean, Complexity hasn't showed they can stop it yet. And you've been getting in with dominant victories, dominant gun round victories on this bomb site. So why even mess with the A side? You don't really have to. That's where, I mean, Holzerk's going to be positioned there with the op. You know that. And he was the one who just ruined your life on Ancient. So taking bracket control, showing presence in middle. Oh, they're going to split through CT spawn. They're going to go right at Fang. He's got to try and hold this off. Oh, baby Dexter. I, I, I love this strategy when you see it work out so well. The CT to B. We're coming right back. They are, though. You're right. Back to Rush. Oh, missed <laughs> shot. That nearly cost them. If Holzer hits that, sure, there's two there. They probably get a trade, but you almost overcomplicate things. They obviously got a good read from the player in Banana that there's still two in there, so they just clear and... Oh, it's up above. Excuse me. I thought Grim was still down inside of the pit. JDC will get him. I don't think I don't think Halzerk expected them to come back in any way. I don't think he was prepared to take that shot at all. He was probably so confused when they popped up on his screen. 7-0. And look at the money. Mouse is rich. Yeah, they're looking pretty pretty good, aren't they? I have to say. And just doing the math again quickly, seven, uh, nine, 11 kills. We're now seven rounds done. It's, yeah, it's um, not getting any better. A, a single pretty. kill in this round as well, and Exertion's the one that went down. I wonder if Fang just kind of missed that jump or if he was trying to do a sound cue. Either way, it did, didn't work whatsoever. He was the initial contact. 
Sound Q either gave away his location or it was just a great shot regardless, but again, this defense just crumbles. Now's with no issue so far in the first half. 2M4 saved. Deagles and 5 sevens picked up around it. Halzerg again just going to save everything he possibly can for the op. But it's not looking good for complexity. JDC. Trying to bust out the glass top of Vault Metal as he jumps up, shielding some of the noise. JT going to jump back, though. I think they're still aware of that possibility, having no information. Single rifle for JT and a single rifle for Floppy. And they'll be split up across the map. On either side defensively, Halzer waiting to see if he can make contact, shoulder peeking and dropping the smoke. Nate's going to bounce off Skybox. But no contact made. Opening pick still valuable, though. Minute nine. Gap around gap. that smoke, yep. Frozen, waiting for his opportunity. Here comes the flashbang. Here they come on through. Second flashbang catches Halzerk. Inside of the smoke, they need the kills. There's Floppy with the trade. Halzerk comes through, they're prepared. They get both of them nice and quick. Plenty of time for the bomb plant. Grim and JT are going to rotate over, and you might as well go for this one. You're going to be buying in the next round. See what you can get. See if you can find an easy early kill. There's no kit. If they do want to dedicate themselves to this, the decision has to be made right now. Grim two kills so far, JT one. Just three to find in this round. That's the total they have of the whole match. JT's gonna add one more, finds Dexter. And Grim's got the other side covered off with the Deagle, but they're not where frozen. Oh, he didn't get the shot. Restored the coffins. The nade, you're absolutely right, will do damage. Could take down Grim, but it's too deep, and Grim has a chance to hold this. They've got enough time, they're gonna be on it, and they're gonna win out a round, finally. With just the two M4s, they finally get one back in their favor. Those are some disgusting Deagle shots from Grim. Wow. Those had to be immediate bangers as well. First round on the board, it didn't look likely, but great job in the 2v3. And Grimby and supportive. Grimby and holding for, for after contact with that deal can be very, very difficult. Manages it well. So, all back in the hands of Halzerk. First stumble for Maus in this game. Absolutely. See if they can capitalize. There's still a ton of money, though. Mounds have at least one, maybe two more buys in them. You've got five digits of economy on Frozen alone, 7,000 on Dexter. And Halzer putting him down. He's going to have to spend some of that in the next round. Yeah, you'd like to keep that. I mean, if you're Mounds, you've kept this op out of his hands or kept this op from being effective as long as you possibly could. Let's see if it can start heating up to get complexity back into this half. JDC has a chance to catch him. Ooh, almost did. JDC will hold this, hoping Halzerk comes back. One mistake from Halzerk from the Norwegian, and he's ready. He peeks and he's got it. JDC falls. Is Halzerk from Norway? <laughs> I thought he was Lithuanian. Yeah. Stare each other down. Give me the nades. Exertion with the bomb is now going to be tasked with getting that into the site. And Halzerk will rotate over. No smoke deployed at T or CT cross, I should say. Excuse me. Two in play, though. Torzi and Exertion have them. They're not going to use them. They're going to go, oh, that's, that's, oh, that's so frustrating. At least it's the assist. And Halzerk will help JT put two down and finds the other. That's frustrating because he took a step back rather than forward. He saw a move. He was ready to fire. But it's still going to be a second round in a row for complexity. Yeah, they stopped to fight JT, so they didn't come into the crosser at the, the timing he would have liked. Still a great round from Halzerk. Three kills and assists. Was everywhere on the map as well. And that's good news for complexity that he's starting to feel comfortable and he's starting to feel very, very mobile around the map. Three players to open up at the B bomb site. Halzerk leading the way. So an early pick down with the AWP frozen. Not going to commit himself. And too many smokes in his face. Halzerk calls it off. Cheeky, cheeky boost for a one way. Grim, yep, trying to use that. No one's going to come up the stairs. They are close enough to it with two players top side on middle, but bomb way back down at T stairs. They're just going to look for picks and try and get some map control over at Banana. 
ahead of the play. One more buy in it for Mouse after this as well, if they're able to get the bomb down especially, but with the bonus building. Alzer going to go aggressive. Nade's going to go over his head. They know they have to fire. He fired early because his teammate was close and he didn't want to take him out as well. That actually almost gave JT a chance to strike because they wouldn't have been expecting him to swing so quickly after that shot. But now the attention after that trade goes over toward A. Fang up above. Smoke that's going to work in his favor, but not the shots as Exertion finds him. And Torzi comes around up close. AWP bomb to be planted. And Mouse now in control of a three-on-two post plant, low HP, though. Yeah, this is perfect. Mouse, this is a great tactical call. This is them just playing with the fact they've had so much success at the B-bomb site, committing players, making presence known, but then coming right back to the A-bomb site. Good shot. Torzi through the smoke. He might not have even seen Floppy. But Mouse bails out as soon as they realize where Hulzerk is. and like, fine, we'll take A. No problems. And an eighth round on the board. So Halzerk heads for the hills in toward the chapel, and Dexter's going to try and chase him down. Waits for it. Will he see it with the oh, scope? Oh he, went, oh, he ran too soon. I think he's going to chase him. Dexter on him. Sound of the bomb. Oh, baby. Halzerk's gone. The Nigerian prince taken down by Dexter. Nailed. Six round lead. That's a huge kill to get as well for Maus. It doesn't really have any kind of crazy impact in this next round, but it sets things up for the future because you don't want Halzerk to heat up into this game. You don't game. You don't want him to get any kind of momentum. So just just putting him at the point where he can't afford the op in the next gun round is actually huge for Maus. He has picked up an op here, but after this, there's no money left in the bank. Deep Molotov. Complexity is still unable to escape like the, the damage control mindset that the scoreboard is going to put on them. Flash to go over. JT having that in his hand ready to help Floppy. Doesn't matter if he goes late with it or not. It actually almost gave him a chance for a double, but it is a FAMAS, so only one. And JT will follow up to find Frozen. Hulzer, we didn't catch that. Okay, quad side. So at the brackets, was able to get JDC. And with the smoke Six. down, this is actually a pretty ballsy move. Exertion is just going to push through. I think they spotted both those A defenders, which is why he's like, all right, I'm just going to book it to CT spawn. Now we have a two on one at the B bomb site. I've got an angle that he probably won't expect. He's going to expect his teammates to have this. You can see JT considering it now as well. Moving over towards construction, looking deep towards CT spawn. Exertion just barely dodging the timing. This is a huge fight right here for JT. He must have it. He sees it first, but can't win. Good kill from Exertion. Smoke provides cover. Bombs going down. We've got a 2v2. Alzerk looking for it through the smoke towards. He's going to back off the new box, get some cover. That goes all the way into emo. No kits. Is that time ticking? About a third of the way through its life so far. Smoke to cover CT. Torzi's going to step wide. He still needs to check that chapel position because they need to get the step on this. They need to get the jump. The jump that Exertion's going to get. He left from Banana. Forget playing post plan. He went aggressively and Holzer gets tagged through that smoke. He knows they're on the chase. He turns around. Somehow gets Exertion on a very, very narrow shot on a shoulder peak. And that means they're both going to back off. Keep the AWPs. But it's Mouse now 9-2. to two. However, Mouse not able to take that off away from Holzer. So at least there's some kind of silver lining for complexity. Nothing you're too happy about. But at least you got something to fight with in this round. You got to imagine. They're going to pick up some light armor, some upgraded pistols, a little bit of utility to kind of supplement the AWP. But it's looking real dire for complexity. All three maps they've started in a hole. Six to nothing on Overpass. Eight to nothing on Ancient. Yep. Now, what, 9-2? Yes. Which, lost. But, it, but it was 7 nothing before they got anything. Yeah, and, and Lost Tank should keep in mind. Obviously, that's why we're here in the third map. So it's not like Complexity. I haven't seen this before, but you're right. They're making things extremely difficult. As Torzi chucks a nades that goes, well top of banana but no one else is that that one's a little better frozen gets nailed by the bounce and he gets tagged down to 53. And he's not done there he's gonna go back up towards the logs shot out line up he's got both of them jt drops second one was the headshot through it meanwhile grimmett holds are equal to score but banana is open and therefore so is b the race on and there's gonna be a flank in this one as well grim is trying to get behind with the ak-47 and again you might as well go for it you might as well go for it in this situation so desperate torji planting the bomb dexters 
going to get taken down by Grim. Flank coming into play. Two on three. Frozen steps up. Immediate kill on the Grim. That's huge. Now backing off, changing his position. And Torji with the off is going to grab another. The last one. That's Fang to go down. Yeah, Fang gone 10 to 2. So they didn't give much away, did they? They didn't let the economy completely break this time. AK-47, AWP already brought back out for Torzi and a buy coming in for Mao's, obviously, but it's not a lot left over. And, and Chickens now. Torzi getting aggressive over the top. Saw shoulder, but is not going to get another chance as JT chucks an aid and backs off. Arrow. I hope he just goes for it. I hope he just walks in until contact. Because yeah, why not? I, I do too. The problem is he's already looked CT and JT might arrive late. Okay, he's gone actually around to Coffins. Preset shot from Torzi into the flash. Problem is now they know he's up close as well. JT trying to fire back into the smoke. Incendiary to hold them off further as well. So you've got double Molotovs down. Mal's going to be patient here. This is like so much utility. They don't have to go through these smokes. They don't have to kind of try and take advantage of this chaos. They've forced out so much counter and defensive utility, but they're going to go through it anyways. Torji lining up flashbangs here. They're going to come right on through. JT's got to kind of bail out behind coffins. Now peek up over the top. Floppy at first oranges. Oh, he's all alone as well. He might get Dexter who's low. Can you get more inside the flames? Frozen melts. And Floppy's going to get one more. Gonna go to the AK immediately after. Forget the reload, upgrade the weapon, and now with two, JDC tries to get the lurk. That would have been huge. He had a chance to get two. He had a chance to actually make a round out of it. Even though the bomb was down on the site, they could have gone for the full flank. Instead, complexity after the timeout. Looks like they're gonna find their third round. And Torzi's got a bent barrel, I think, on that AWP. Misses two shots. Yeah, that's some Looney Tune stuff. Didn't go where he wanted it. There were some missed opportunities there. I actually felt like Mal's, especially after getting JT, I mean, the perfect time for the Molotov to come in from the support rotation and CT spawn for Floppy to be helped out, but they had their chance. Smoke. And Banana with some pre-fires. Nades going both ways. Frozen able to get tucked into the corner, but the second Nade's gonna go further. That's 53 that he remains with. After both those Nades go off in his face. JDC, we haven't seen him open up quite as successfully as of late. In fact, he sits at the bottom of the scoreboard for Maus, so hasn't been able to really rip the map wide open. But that said, scoreline, fine. No pressure. All mid. Alls are going to be forced off. Uses a smoke to cover his teammate. Fang is going to get out. I think Exertion heard the steps on the landing. Another Molotov comes in. Mouths don't want to challenge that whatsoever. It does burn Exertion down to 68. They're knocking on the door this rap side, though. They do want to try and turn the corner. Flashbang's going to be up in the sky. Halzer gets the first kill. They didn't want to chase those footsteps. They knew there was going to be a crossfire set up. Grim. Oh, the Grim Reaper from the grave. He's gonna pop up from those stairs, and he's got a chance to line up more. Goes down, oh my goodness! Exertion, that is a huge kill, because the trade was there. Grim had the jump, but Holzerk, he's now forced off this because the bomb goes down behind the box, and he can't fire through it yet. AWP at the weight, at the weight of his teammates, because JT and Floppy have to rotate all the way over, so even though they still have the advantage, and all have kits, they've gotta get by this AWP. High flash. Take that back, it's gonna be the bounce off the skybox for the incendiary, clear the site directly and wrap around exertion. Tucked in, looks for the headshot, missed from the AWP and Torzi, he's missed twice. He's gotta go for the third, but thrice is all he's gonna find. Three misses and JT on the defuse. Great Molotov just to make it really uncomfortable inside of that bomb site, but you're right, some missed shots is from Torzi. He still had a chance to win that one out with the bomb planted for him. Missed opportunities for Maus, but good shooting from Holzerk to grab that one last player. Complexity's defense has been taking hits this whole half. The initial contact is so rough. 4-10. Final round of the first half. Complexity desperate for five. But finally, they've taken the money away from Alice, who've had real no, econo no economic issues throughout this half for the most part. No. This is haven't. the first time we've seen them have to descend to anything well, and, and, you know, and, lesser. And, well, even more than that, I mean, they had two rounds in a row where I mentioned they had so much money built up and the bonus coming in, they still weren't going to break them then, so it took them forever. And, and 
Now, finally, a chance, like I said, since the timeout to make this 10 5 from 10 to 2. Dexter takes down Holzer. Grim overextends. He thought he could maybe get it done spraying in as they had to reset Fang. Head down, trying to get closer, trying to play this. I think JDC spotted his shoulder. Doesn't even matter. He gets punched square in the noggin. Yeah, although Exertion has been looking very sharp this game. Yeah, he's been stepping it up. This is phenomenal stuff from him. He's had some very, very critical shots. Last round, Complexity is going to go for it no matter what, but it's an unlikely two on four, especially now that JT is spamming the smoke and his teammate is eliminated in mid. So, 11 to four is the halftime score for Maus over Complexity. Third and deciding map as well. Not the way Complexity... And now is Maus on the T side as well. They get to switch over to CT here. And just kind of chill. Pistol round. Two smokes, two flashes, and a Molotov for complexity. They're going towards Banana. It's Exertion and Frozen to defend. Both of them have HE grenades, so look for them to maybe take a couple of shots, but they want to live to drop a nade on the plant. JDC and trying to make that contact down all middle and then wrap back. Give them the impression of presence. Part of the reason they rushed over toward B that they didn't want to take it early fight Fang. Oh, he didn't go for the fast play. It's still down on this. Exertion going to bounce the nade directly onto him. A second one as well, but they were a little bit late and light. He survived somehow with 7 HP. Yeah, this retake gets interesting now. They do have a kit. They do have a smoke and a flash. So they've got a plan. But they're going to need to find at least one of these kills pretty early on. Fang with 7 health going to slide out. Takes the attention. It's all Zerk and Floppy. Torji responds. But they don't get enough. They don't get enough, and Torji's able to chill. JDC and Frozen come right back. Floppy, the last one left. Kit in the hands of Frozen as well. He's sticking it. He's sticking it, and it don't matter. JDC shuts him down 12 to 4. I don't think Maus is letting this one slip away. Big kill from JDC, absolutely. Go for the diffuser on that one. He gets a chance, but nails the shot immediately. Knew he had to. Look at him. He's like, ah, oh, buddy, I got you. Don't even worry about me. I got you. He's all jovial. And right now, it's a little bit trivial, I think, on the complexity side. A bit more silence, 12 to 4. 12 4, baby. What a great game from Mouse. Done messing around, done letting leads slip away, done letting it be close. Second round by from complexity off that plant. So much rests on this, whether they have a chance at a comeback or not. Paul Zerk does have a smoke, but wants to challenge inside of the utility, and he's going to get punished for it. Good job from Mouse, not letting him get away. Right. Fang responds, but he's down very low. Very low and might want to give away that kill or not. Just keep using it. Keep using it to good effect as well. JDC will eventually put Grim down. But Fang, JT, Floppy all still on the move. And two of them, the formers. Dexter's not aware. Dexter's not aware that they're already in CT spawn. He's going to be real surprised when he turns around. Oh, they've got a player looking back from library as well. They, they have to make this call. Surely Dexter's aware now. They've got, yeah, okay. They've got no, oh my God. I thought he was going to check it because they, they might get two. They had no information as to where it was going. Easy first shot. That's not going to give them the second one, but Floppy's there. He steps wide with the AK and finds the kill. And complexity, I think, have stolen this round. Yeah, there were some footsteps when they entered in towards Arch. I thought for sure Dexter would have heard at least one of them, but he had no clue what was happening. Maybe obs obscure, obscured by some comms from the team. But that is a heartbreaking way to lose a round. Thank God Floppy was there as well, because I think JDC was going to react in time. Frozen's got no real chance at this. JT and Fang are going to have to bail out, but Floppy with full health can chill in pit. Ooh, if he finds this kill, actually, hold the phone. He's got a kit. Nope. Never mind. Not happening. Not today, Junior. 12 to 5. They get back into it with an ego, and that might be enough. We saw how much they came back on Ancient, so I'm not ruling anything out of this series at all. God, Miles, that's got to be frustrating to just be like, God, we have such a big lead. We win the pistol, and we still can't convert it. Now a chance for that lead to slip away, as you say. You almost said that as if you've experienced this before. <laughs> We've been down this road. Grim getting aggressive from middle with the M4, wants to get up there quickly, and three-man play toward the pit side of A, with a push in boiler, reverse position towards G. This is contentious, because if they wrap it around, the Dexter's going to take the aggro. Yeah. Not that aggro. No, nope, yeah, didn't see it. They got by him, so he wasn't far enough out, and Grim's going to get both as a result of it. 
Just a few steps off. JDC, though, hang on, they backed off. Grim still looking that direction, looking for his third, but shaky, but finds it with 12 HP remaining. And I think they'll get aggressive on B to try and get something back from this. The Deagle's gonna get Fang, that's an AK. There's a second AK as well. That's actually sick. You gotta be happy about that if your mouse. Two AK-47s picked up, so just just chill. Don't, you know, don't need to go for anything. You're not gonna win this round. Just be happy with the AK-47s. Two Deagles they can pass over to teammates in the next round, a little bit of utility. So now all of a sudden, round number 19 is gonna get a little bit fun. A little bit spicy. Mouse have everything they need to turn that round in their favor. Two AKs, two Deagles, and Nades. See exactly where they both are. Exertion. You are just joining us. This is the second series of the day, going a bit long as these these two teams have been locked in battle. We've got one more series coming up after this. It's going to be Ents taking on Astralis. It's going to be a brawl. Yeah, another both, one. Both those teams need the win. They're both one and two at this point. Oh, that poor chicken. I was, you know, like disintegrated. Not even meat left on that guy, which is really all he's good for, so. Yeah. No chicken nuggets. Shout out to all the vegetarians in chat. <laughs> needless, needless antagonization. Yeah, that's, that's me in a nutshell, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Don't poke the bear, Matt. Okay, I'll ring him by the neck. Six round lead for Mouse. Let's see what they can do. Frozen's a good guy to have an AK-47 on. So is Exertion. Deagle's on Torji and JDC. So again, there's going to be a heavy A bias from Mouse, given the weaponry. Those two AKs are split up, though. So Exertion's going to have to be a bit careful. Being isolated, obviously great. If he can find multiple kills, if he can get a headshot angle, he'll he'll do his due diligence. But at the same time, if he is isolated, outnumbered, he might just want to save that again. So he's actually playing a lot more passively now that he's put out some utility. Dexter has come over to try and support. All Zerk and Co. ready inside of Banana. Vegetarians will like that one. Yeah. Some potassium. Utility going to be chucked out. 45 seconds on the clock. Exertion is here with one of the AK-47s. Dexter just with the USP. It would have to be all Exertion. And okay, well, right through the smoke, he gets zero chances. Yep, yeah, don't that AK gone immediately. And not recoverable yet. Dexter. USP. Yeah, no. Nah. Frozen's already backing off with the AK-47 as well. They want to preserve the rifle, so that's that's unfortunate. Exertion looked like he was in a position to make a really solid play, just some unfortunate spam. Extra has nothing to lose right now, so he's just going to sit at the uh, people and the, pul the pulpit. I can't remember the name of a church. My grandfather would be so upset. He was an Anglican clergyman. I should look that up again. Pupil? Uh, Pupil's that like the... Uh, what you went for? Yeah, but it's... it's the, anyway, I'll... Wow. Anyway, being disowned by my family slowly. Uh, he's going to sit. I thought he was actually going to try and sneak in and get that AK back, but elects not to do it. And uh, Bomb's going to go off. That is too far in the back lines as well. Bomb's not going to push that forward. It's going to stay back in the emo corner. And it'll now be 12 to 7. Cut in. Five round lead now. Complexity coming back yet again. Team's gonna get back into this one. Three M4s, the saved AK-47. A FAMAS on Mouse's defense as they try and get back to their winning ways. They've got two kits, plenty of utility. Alter, why am I? That was terrible. I don't know. I was thinking you were ways. looking for Alter. Well, no, but I was thinking there's another name for where you say the sermon. Bro. And this also, this is not the correct map. This is I think. Anyway, we'll do this later. Okay. okay. I want to get into a breakdown of churches and now that's all right. all right. There's no church that can save me anyway, Jason. That's very true. So, JDC over at Graveyard, tough position, doubles up. That's wonderful. The pop doesn't even begin. Even has a smoke to put out the Molotov. Fang, oh, he feels so useless right now. Feels so useless and probably feels like he needs to overextend. His teammates are challenging up lane, but they're going to have to... Uh, there's no easy fight here for complexity. 
JDC's got a third. He kept his head down long enough to get the information. He pops up. No mistake on it. He's got a fourth looking for the ace against Fang, even pre-firing into it. Sees the Molotov bouncing around. He wants this. He desperately wants it. Looks away from the flash. Shit, he's going to get it as well. All five from the stairs to the graveyard for JDC and a round for Mouse Sports 13 to 7. Yeah, beautiful round to get it as well. Very, very important for Maus. He preserves a lot of life also. Only one player falls in that round. So four players survive. They get to build up some cash flow on the CT side. Things looking good again for Maus. Six round lead. Triple B start for the defense. Torji, Frozen, and Exertion. There is the op on Torji's hands as well. I was right, by the way. It was Pulpit. You didn't say Pulpit. You said Pupil. I said Pupil at first, and then I corrected my... I, I'm pretty sure I said it. Someone check the tape. <laughs> the Bully Pulpit. Frozen. Gonna back away from complexities. Banana control. They have logs. Fang inside the smoke towards half wall. Deep Molotov is gonna force him out. There's two kills for Frozen. Bomb is also all the way back at the base of T ramp. One of JT or Fang was supposed to pick it up eventually, and that ain't gonna happen, which means it's probably gonna go down to Halzerk with the op to run all the way back. But I mean, Grim and Floppy got to do something in the meantime. You can't. Meanwhile, you can't just sit and wait for him to come back. Grim, desperate, but desperately alone. Alone and on the hunt is JDC. Puts some shots into his backside. He'll be feeling like Forrest Gump trying to run away, and JDC chases him down. 14 to 7. Two to go for Mouse Sports to wrap up the series. Something jumped up and bit me. <laughs> Nailed it. That was pretty good, actually. 14 to 7. 14 to 7, indeed. And there's no real money for complexity. 2K on JT, 1,700 on Fang, 1,900 on Floppy. Ooh, what a, I'm glad I'm not the one in this position. Hulls are going to save what he can just with the Glock at 2,600. Mouse is going to have uh, likely, likely to have eight chances to close out this series. Feels kind of bad for how hard we've seen Complexity fight to overcome the deficit of the first map, to overcome and win, or overcome the deficit in the second map and end up winning it as well to force us onto Inferno. But that's going to be the story of the day. Just starting out, what, 6 0, 7 0, and 8 0 on each of the maps. Yep. And I, you know, I, I was starting to give them some, some credit coming into this again. They had a chance to make this 3 1 of the group. This is such a tough group right now. You don't. Tomorrow's a nervous day for a lot of these teams. We don't know who's going to be here in two weeks' time for the playoffs at all. The pictures. Getting a little bit closer for Mouse Sports, though, as Dexter lines up threes. Even got time to get the reload in behind the pillar, and Fang will clip him away slowly but surely. Take him down. I Means there's only one man down in this round as well. If he swings fast enough, that's a beauty on Frozen. He's trying, going for that pre-fire, expecting him to swing. Couldn't do it. And Frozen follows up by getting his teammate as well. 15 map and series point. Yeah. Yeah, that'll make you happy. A few fist bumps in the air, a few fist bumps passed around. Mal's feeling good at the moment. 15 to 7, eight chances to close this out. Let's see what complexity can do. Round 23. So AWP Torzi, all AKs for Complexity. Yeah, this, this is going to be a tough position for Complexity, as you mentioned in the group, and going into tomorrow, this is going to feel like you've just let so like a good position just slip away. Starting 2-0 up in the group. Not able to close it out, not able to secure anything from there. And the teams that are starting to look good and heat up in this in this group, Mouse, Heroic, they're the ones they don't own a tiebreaker against also. You love that. Yeah, we Just take it. going in there and think, oh, that, there's a guy there. I'll oh. shoot him again. Yep, go back to it. Looks like Complexity might want to readjust back towards the B-bomb site. Frozen's here with the smoke and a Molotov to slow things down if he gets nervous. Holding on to him with a minute remaining. He's got Exertion rotating as well. Who just picks up another smoke, so they can pretty much stall out this bomb site. Oh, and the reed's already there. Dexter has just made a huge play. Yeah, he's got them completely locked in. It might be the mouse trap sprung. Great board game. And now they're hungry, hungry hippos inside the site, Jason. 
JT, he's got exertion, but that might be all they get on entry. JDC back through the smoke. He's looking for two, couldn't control the spray. And as I say, it could be the round. They somehow come away with it, but they never expected Dexter to be that close on their heels. Bomb down, and it's all on Fang, who's flashed. 48 HP and two to find. He's not even going to get that far. Torzy's got.